I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. An hour here is better than a year on leave. If only I could afford to come more often. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. Please, relax and enjoy yourself. Human military? You'll enjoy it here, I think. I'd spend all day here if I could. At ease, officer. This is a place of peace. Isn't this place terrific? Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. This is the most relaxed I've been in days. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. The consort is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. This place is a little too perfect, like they're hiding something. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Please, Commander. I ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with Septimus. Please, Commander. I ask that you return to me only after you have spoken with Septimus. I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Don't get me wrong. I've only heard good things about the Consort. It's just... The unknown forces us out of our comfort zone. It forces us to be vulnerable. Exactly. That's just what I was thinking. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Few are ever asked to aid Shaira. It's quite an honor. What do you know about the General? He's been seeing the Consort for longer than I can remember. Then one day, he stormed out of here furious. He hasn't been back since. He was always very respectful to the Acolytes. Very noble. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back any time. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right?
Hard to believe the Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Sounds like they got what they deserved. I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. What exactly do you sell? 
Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. I think I should be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single, strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people. He would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. I should go. Goodbye, Commander.
Now, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. It makes my teeth tingle. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the Tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Tell me more about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the Relay Monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the Tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the Ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. I'm scheduled to have an audience with the Council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of 1,000 vessels. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Please do not disturb the keepers.